Hello everyone, welcome to a small terrible channel. So let's have now the part two of our module three answers. So we are just going to read the paragraph. Joseph wants to compare the com chemical properties of two substances. In doing it, he prepared two flasks containing the substances and labeled them liquid A and liquid B. He monitored the boiling points of the liquids and found that the boiling points were 100 degrees Celsius for substance A and 110 degrees Celsius to 112 degrees Celsius for liquid B. How would you classify the two liquids? So as you can see, in for liquid A, it has a fixed boiling point, whereas in the uh, in the liquid B, it has this boiling point from 110 to 112. So that means it's changing. And based on our previous definition, when you say substance or pure substance, it has a fixed boiling point. And if it's not, then it's a mixture. So basically, our answer is it should be liquid A okay so let's just write liquid A here so the answer here is liquid A all right so let's continue a student test the melting point of a certain sample of potassium alum or tawas, it starts melting at 91 degrees Celsius and melts completely until the temperature is 92.5 degrees Celsius. According to a data book, the melting point of potassium alum is 92.5 degrees Celsius. What can you say about the sample? Okay, so based on the on the uh, situation, alright, so the what's this the potassium alum or tawas is a is a substance or basically a pure substance let's just write here pure substance okay so by the way the answer in here would be liquid a liquid a uh, a all right so now let's have the what i have learned part okay so pure substances are so our answer here would be homogeneous all right homogeneous okay homogeneous For number two, the answer would be pure substance. Pure substance. And for number three, it would be constant. Okay, constant. For number four, the answer would be completely. This should be completely. During melting, a substance melts completely within a short time. To determine a blank sample, if it is a pure substance, you should test its boiling point. So, what will boil? It, of course, it would be the liquid so the answer here would be liquid liquid sample then well if it is a blank sample uh, its melting point is the best way to test so what will melt of course the solid so the answer here would be solid next in enrichment a the liquid a is okay the, our clue here is it has a fixed boiling point so when you say having the fixed boiling point, of course, that's a pure substance. Okay, it's a pure substance. 
your substance has a fixed boiling point. If it has a changing boiling point, then it is a mixture. Okay, just like water with salt. Okay, because there's the so-called distilled water, which is also a pure substance, then it has a fixed boiling point. But in this case, water with salt, just like the sea water, is a mixture. So, it has a varying melting point. Let's proceed here in the what I can do. So, we are going to identify at least five pure substances found in nature, in the supermarket, grocery store, and even at your home. So, we are going to use the table here to explain our answer based on appearance, separating techniques, boiling, and melting point. So, our first would be the so-called distilled water let's just uh, specify water because there are tap water so let's just focus on the distilled water have you tried buying distilled water from the supermarket so as you can see its appearance is homogeneous when you see homogeneous everything in it is water you cannot you cannot see impurities uh, our separating techniques um, for us, because distilled water or water has a chemical formula of H2O, so we can separate water from into hydrogen and oxygen. Just employ the techniques electrolysis. So we are going to pass through current in distilled water uh, for the hydrogen and oxygen to separate. Then, the boiling point, of course, since it's a pure substance, it has a fixed boiling point. Okay? Or fixed. Oh, yeah. Fixed. Then, let's have, when it comes to, um, it's liquid. So, of course, let's just answer the boiling point portion. Okay? Water is already liquid, so it won't melt anymore. So let's just leave that one blank. So if your example here is solid, of course, you're going to answer the melting point portion and leave blank the boiling portion because solid won't boil. Alright, so next example is 24K gold ring. Have you tried buying one? Okay, so... 24k gold ring that's pure gold then its appearance of course it's homogeneous everything in it is all gold then separating techniques you cannot separate it okay you cannot separate it because it's an element okay it's an element if you're going to melt it of course it has a specific it has a specific melting temperature so basically it will melt completely it will melt completely then next example would be table salt okay so next example let's have Wait for a while. Let's have table salt. Table salt. Are you familiar of table salt? The one you use in the kitchen to to give flavor to your um, dishes or to your um, vayan there. So appearance, of course, it's homogeneous. So we are are referring to the iodized salt here the one with no no mic, uh, not uh, no mixture in it pure table salt so separating techniques so you can also employ electrolysis here to separate um salt table salt into sodium and chlorine um since table salt is a solid so it's melting um, point is it will melt completely melts completely melts completely all right 
Then let's have the next example. Our fourth example would be baking soda. Are you familiar with baking soda? Some people use this one to clean their uh, plates or any kitchen utensils. Okay, homogeneous. Homogeneous. Okay, separating techniques. Okay, according to study, you can place that one in uh, the oven to separate it to, into its components. So, it, since it's a solid, so it melts completely. Melts completely. Alright, next is, next example, let's have copper wire. Are you familiar with copper wire? Copper wires are the one used the one used uh, coated uh, it's coated uh, gigamit siya sa mga connections sa tong kurente okay copper wire of course homogeneous everything in it is made of copper okay we can separate it. it's already an element the simplest already okay so it will melt completely since it's um, elements if you are going to take a look at them in their periodic table periodic table of elements they have their corresponding melting point okay if it's a solid and if it's a liquid they have their corresponding boiling point and it's fixed all right so i hope you learned something so let's let's try to continue anyway all right so let's continue so number one our answer should be a substance or a pure substance it has a fixed temperature in there number two the answer is letter a liquid a is a pure substance while liquid b is a mixture as you can see, it has a constant, um, what's this, boiling temperature. And that's the property of a pure substance. Whereas for the mixture, it has a changing boiling temperature. Okay, for number three, our answer is letter D. Alright, for number four, our answer is letter D. Number five is letter D. Number six, our answer is letter A. Number seven, our answer is letter B. Melts completely. That's the clue. Then it's a pure substance. For number eight, our answer is letter A. It has a fixed boiling point. For a liquid A. For number 9, our answer is letter C. It's water. Number 10, the answer is letter A. Marble and jar of water, it's the contention. Number 11, it's letter D. Physical manipulation. For number 14, the answer is letter C. So, iron will attach to the magnet. So, iron nails. So, basically, you can use magnet then. For number 15, the answer is letter D. Okay, let's proceed here. And for the additional activities, for the substance is homogeneous, it has a fixed boiling point, it melts completely. And for the mixture, it may be homogeneous or heterogeneous, it has varying boiling point, and it, some, some portions seems to be not melting. And that's all about substances and mixtures. For part 3, just a stay tuned. Let's have it uh, later. Goodbye! Enjoy learning, have fun!